Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome to day 7 of the Redstone Advent Calendar and today we're going to be taking a look at a relatively simple redstone contraption that I think is really quite useful. This is the non-stackable item filter that you can use inside your sorting systems, so let's take a closer look. Now the idea behind this one really is quite simple. Up at the top here we've got our input chest, then off to the left we have got our stackable items output, and then down at the bottom we have got our non-stackable item output. Now you can see the hoppers go across like this and also we've got an extra one going down here with a tiny bit of redstone out the back which is going to be controlling the entire system. So if you chuck a few stackable items into this chest you can see they flow right the way through but also if we add a few non-stackable items as well you can see that all of our stackable items make their way through all of these hoppers and into this chest up at the end but then our non-stackable items go down into this hopper and down into this chest. Now before I show you the redstone behind this thing, I just want to let you know that this was actually an idea that was sent to me via Twitter. I asked the other day, what sort of things would you like to see in the advent calendar, and this is one of the things that popped up, so I thought I'd get to work on it. Now as you can see, the redstone behind it is relatively simple. All it does is this comparator here gives a signal strength output depending on what item goes in. Now you should know that stackable items will give a signal strength of 1, whereas non-stackable items give a signal strength of 3. So if a non-stackable item goes into this hopper right here, all of this redstone lights up, this redstone torch turns off, which means that this hopper down at the bottom here gets unpowered, meaning that it unlocks, allowing items to pass through it, which means, of course, it takes down that stackable item. Now, I'm about a thousand percent certain that none of you guys are going to need a tutorial on this one, but I'm going to do one anyway, just because I can. So you want to get things started with a hopper string like this. Now, of course, I've got my input chest there and my output chest there but they can be absolutely anywhere. You can have your input chest miles away and your output chest miles away, but you just have to have this hopper string right here. Then you just want to place a hopper down like this and that can go off to wherever you really like, but I'm going to have my non-stackable item output chest right here. And then for the redstone behind this thing, all you have to do is run a comparator output from this hopper right here. That's going to be going up into this redstone up on the top with a redstone torch there and then your block down at the bottom here, which is going to be powered by the redstone torch. You want a block there, and also a block here with a repeater running straight into that block, which is going to be locking that hopper. And that is everything completed. So there you go. That is your non-stackable item filter. Any stackable items will make their way into this chest. Any non-stackable items will go down into this chest right here. But unfortunately, ladies and gents, that is all I've got time for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.